The new Top Gun is experiencing legal trouble, an Oscar Wilde favourite on stage down under, and the new Elvis film inspiring a car sale. Our entertainment reporter Samantha Chiari has your showbiz wrap. A new lawsuit is targeting the Tom Cruise blockbuster Top Gun Maverick. Family members of the author whose article inspired the original 1986 film is suing Paramount Pictures for copyright infringement. They claim the movie studio failed to reacquire the rights before releasing the sequel. The end is inevitable, Maverick. You're kind of headed for extinction. Maybe so, sir. But not today. Tom Cruise, however, flying high after the box office success of the latest instalment. The latest weekend box office data from the US shows 36 years after the original film, Goose and Iceman, it's lost, well, none of its horsepower. In the US, Top Gun Maverick took almost 127 million US dollars over the weekend, out of a total of 223 million US dollars in total box office for sales. Its opening weekend last week saw it take 86 million from 116 million in total ticket sales. In the past two weeks, it's already taken in close to 550 million US dollars worldwide, making it the fourth top grossing film in the world this year. Tom Cruise is very much in the money. Celebrated playwright and wit Oscar Wilde has had his only novel brought to life on stage here in Australia. His century-old moral fable, packed with witticisms, is as devilishly wicked today as it was on its debut in 1890. After seeing himself in a dazzling new portrait, a young man makes a wish for eternal youth. Dorian Gray throws himself into a life of luxury, drifting from the pampered salons of Victorian London to the darkest recesses of the capital. Meanwhile, the portrait, banished to an attic, becomes more and more grotesque. Sydney Theatre Company's The Picture of Dorian Gray is adapted and directed by Kip Williams, based on the novel by Oscar Wilde. It stars Erin Jean Norville, and you can catch this production at the Playhouse Art Centre in Melbourne until July 31. The Elvis biopic captures the scale of the king's life and legacy, and many of us can only dream of living a life of opulence like him. After the Australian premiere of the film Elvis, a Gold Coast mechanic is auctioning off a soaked up version of his prized possession, a 1959 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. It's one of 48 vintage cars going under the hammer and workers in the automotive industry are reporting the film has led to a renewed interest in classic cars. And that's your wrap of what's happening in showbiz.